Hello, Rosalind Snow here again, back with more uh, Pokemon Go tips and tricks. Um, this is basically a video about a complementary method to the method previously, previously discussed, which basically went as follows. Um, you'd find, uh, you'd assume that you are basically at a cross section of a, of a circle. You'd go to the extremes and see if it reduced, the, it reduced or increased the pause. If it did, then, uh, you know, basically you'd be able to use various methods and, and basically go uh, perpendicular to these sort of things. Um, but the one of the difficulties is that I found that I found this to be a really prescriptive method in terms of like, hey, you, you follow these exact steps, but it kind of assumes that you're able to go to the center point there, which may not be necessarily true. So it doesn't nes I mean, the concept applies fairly well in a in uh, in the real world, but it's not really what you're looking for, especially if you aren't going on a, a sort of grid like it, like you're in the middle of New York City or something. So as for alternate methods, thankfully there's uh, someone named Deviationism that was able to provide a pretty good guide on Imgur. But uh, I'll pretty much be summing this up. You know, they what their method is is thankfully because of the the sort of real life pictures that they provide, they're able to give a much more accurate way to do this. Um, obviously, they start looking for specific Pokemon. They then decide to hey, let's go this way. That makes it disappear from the radar. That's a bound. That is an that is a circle edge, and that that is verifiably a circle edge. They then go back. If they go down, let's say it also gives another edge. They again go up there. Oh, look at that. It gets them closer. If they continue going that direction, basically what you're seeing here is they developed a circle. And because of this, they have a radius. Because they have that radius, uh, they're able to very effectively say the center point. And guess where the center point is? It's right there. So this is basically a, well, that's actually not the actual center point. It's a bit off kilter, but they can't exactly go in people's yards. But anyways, I found this method to be a lot more practical simply because it's it has a lot more freedom in terms of trial and error. You know, let's say you do have a sort of unusual uh, neighborhood or area you're walking through this can be a much better way to, to figure things out. So I hope that helps. I'll leave the link down on, in the description in case people want to just simply click the link and, and, and ignore this. But uh, this is to pass on information. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.